What's up guys and welcome back to some more Sly 3 Honor Among Thieves. I'm RPM276. Last time we completed Flight of Fancy. Today we will begin a cold alliance. Enjoy the cinematic guys. After a careful analysis of Dr. M's fortress, Bentley came to the difficult conclusion that his demolition skills just weren't going to be enough. If we wanted to get inside the Cooper vault, we'd have to recruit a full-time demolition specialist. However, Bentley's proposed candidate was a shock. My old enemy, the Panda King. As a member of the original Fiendish Five, he had a part in taking out my dad and stealing pages from the Thievius Raccoonus. Eventually, I caught up with him, and I claimed back what he had stolen. There was no way I was going to let that monster on my team, but Bentley was firm. He discovered the Panda King had left his life of crime, and was now a monk living the life of quiet meditation high up in the mountains. I wasn't at all convinced, but there was no denying that he had the skills we needed if we were to succeed. So the gang packed up, put on our disguises, and headed east to China. Interesting turn of events. Eight hours later, in China... Oh, accidentally kicked my... Accidentally kicked my table. Sorry, guys. So I have to move that back. There we go. That's much better. Anyways, now we've arrived. Stay sharp, team. For all we know, the Panda King's just as dangerous as ever. How can you say that? Just look at him! Have you ever seen someone more at peace with the world? <laughs> I'll admit, he does look kinda zen out. Ah! Uh, Mr. King! Honorable Panda King! We humbly wish to speak with you! I guess he doesn't want to talk. Sorry, Bentley. Let's go. Be realistic, Sly. He's clearly in a deep meditative trance. Huh. It'll take some doing, but I think I see a way to get the team up to his shrine. Good. The walk up here tired me out. I don't want to turn around now. Van. I miss the van. We never had to walk anywhere back then. Okay, okay. Let's just get this over with. Murray, you're up first. If you could get to the top of that pillar, you should be able to use your ball move to bounce all the way up to the Panda King. Okay, bouncing is a lot easier than more walking. Seriously, you guys want to see my blisters? No way, is he serious? Yeah, okay, Master. Bouncing, pillars, piece of cake. <laughs> I hear that. Sometimes you've got to be firm. No, seriously, was he for real about the blisters? Cause uh, I don't know, it's yeesh. I think he was serious about the blisters there, Penelope. But we're gonna bounce, cause YOLO swag. No, but that's really how you're supposed to get up there, so Yeah. And the guard's just like, huh? What was that? Is there an earthquake going on? Anyways. We just keep running. All the way over here. Okay! I'm in position! Penelope, you're up next. 
I'm not sure if you're aware, but Sly can jump onto small points. Those bamboo shoots would be an ideal means of ascent if they weren't spaced so far apart. Hold on, hold on. Let me see if I can figure it out for myself. It's, uh, got to do with the ice. Okay, so clearly we need more points in order for Sly to ascend. The problem? Where we're going to get them. The answer? Split each chute down the middle, thereby doubling the points of ascension. However, the ice down there appears too thin to walk on, so there's no way to do it by hand. So, I'll need to use my lightweight remote control car to split the trees for us. Perfect! Well, that's it, exactly! Great! Anything for Sly. I love to see him pull off those athletic moves. Someone's a little flirtatious. Okay. This gun is inaccurate most of the time. Just uh, wanted to point that out. You'll be using this RC car a bit more than you would expect to in this game. But we're gonna be using it a. L we're gonna be using it a lot in this level. Yay! Let's shoot this one down already. There we go. Piece of cake. There you go, Sly. Hope it's everything you could have wished for. Uh, thanks. It looks great. My pleasure. Really? <laughs> Anytime. Uh, Sly, isn't it time you climbed up there and joined Murray? Yeah, sure. Chill out, Bentley. She just wants the D. Yeah? Come on, why you gotta cock block me like that? <laughs> Alright. Uh, oh, this guy's got a shiny pocket. I can't resist. I can't resist, guys. I'm sorry. Me must have shiny things. Medium nugget. Get out of here. Get the hell out of here. Oh. Huh? Hoppity hoppity hop. You got a shiny pocket too? Yes! Give me your shiny thing! Give me your shiny thing! Haven't done this inside too, but give me the shiny thing! Yeah! Get out of here! Oh, no, I said get out of here! For some reason, it sounded like Eddie Vedder from Pearl Jam. <laughs> I don't know. Anyways. Let's just hop all over the bamboo. <laughs> and LP wants this D. I know. I know. She knows it too. Bentley just jelly. Whack the supports up on those pinwheels. Really? Pinwheel destabilization is the cornerstone of this plan. Jump into my hands and I'll throw you up there! Yay, at least we can count on Murray. Oh crap. There we go. Whack. Duh. Didn't think there was a way to get there. Whack. I'm all done up here. Excellent. Now that the pinwheels are unstable, I just need to light them up with my darts. One shot per rocket should do the trick. How are sleep darts supposed to light up fireworks? Unless, uh, unless you are a firework. Now I got Katy Perry in my head. Though I'm not gonna lie, I like Katy Perry. I'll be mad enough to admit it, I like Katy Perry. She's a good singer, and she's smoking hot. But anyways, one pinwheel down, one to go. Bam. Bam. And le bam. Those pinwheels are about to go. Guru, feel up for a challenge? Huh? 
Habitara? Well, that's right. You should be able to persuade the guards to help you get up to those rockets. Oh, hiya. Alright, Guru. Time to do your thing. That guard's turned around. Ba -do 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 -do. Sneak up behind. And ride him on horseback! Or tiger back! And shoot the rockets! Bam! I didn't. <laughs> shoot the other rocket. And look what that's going to be used for. Strong work. That fallen pinwheel should serve as an excellent makeshift elevator. Hola, Radada. You said it, Guru. You said it. So now let's get the hell up there. Join Sly and Murray. Don't want to keep them waiting, you know. Don't want Murray to, you know, get hungry and eat Sly for dinner. Just saying. Now let's head up to the Panda King. I agree. He's in a super meditative state. So let's just shout in his ear. Now to break him out of this trance, we'll need to delve into his mind. A hacksaw then? No, <laughs> it'll require channeling. Hi, what are Oh, that was funny. Sit beside the Panda King. The guru will bridge your minds. Oh my god. Polka dots everywhere! Oh, we got all the circling polka, do polka dots. Polka dots. Oh, that, that's what they're called from now on. Polka dots. Just because I said so. But now, we have a flashback from the first Sly Cooper game. I see you carry the cane of the notorious Cooper Thief Clan. Have you come here for revenge? To steal back the Thievius Raccoonus? Whoa! This is just like the time I beat the stuffing out of you. Why should you care if I bury a few worthless villagers in the snow? You are a thief, just like me. Uh, yeah, are you even listening to what I'm saying? Insolent child, you shall pay dearly for your disrespect. Still, to honor your Cooper ancestry, I will send you to your doom with the beauty of my new firework technique. Flame, fool! Uh-oh. Well, time to fight! Do 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 do! I'm keep whacking you with keep whacking you with my cane. But you're not gonna completely defeat the guy. Oh god. Oh no! Snap out of it! This is all in your head. My mind is clear. Focused on your destruction. Okay. Now I'm gonna try to show all of these off. Let's threaten them. You know how this will end. I've already beat you once. I can do it again. I have never known defeat. I am unbeatable. Well, I guess we have to continue to beat it into you. Fiery wheel. Booming chop. Fiery this is easy. Booming chop. This was even easy in the first game, too. Not gonna lie. Now let's uh, play nice. Look, I'm here to help you, to get your mind out of this rut. If you truly wish to aid me, stand still and let my fireballs cook your flesh. Okay then. That's kind of demented. Guess I'm just gonna keep whacking you, beating the living hell out of you. Boom! Wow, fat ass. Let's uh, save something a from the past. Firework artist turned homicidal pyromaniac. Am I? Am I? Let us find out. 
Oh, now we've got him pissed. Now we got him pissed. You're no threat. You're no threat. <laughs> I'm just gonna keep whacking you. You're gonna keep whacking you in the ass. Boom. Okay, now for the final one. To make him sad. We both know why you're here. You're fixated on the moment of your greatest defeat. I beat you. And forever after, you've wondered how it all fell apart. I hate you, Sly Cooper. You've ruined me. Ruined the Panda King. And I've hated you. But that doesn't make any of this real. Years have passed, and, and we both changed. Come out of this trance. Let's meet each other as we are today, and, and let go of who we were when this fight occurred. You are correct. Forgive me, my mind is not always my own. And now we have another cinematic. Enjoy! The Panda King wasn't any more excited about the notion of him joining the gang than I was. If it weren't for the Guru, who for some reason really hit it off with the old guy, the whole deal would have been a bust. We could see the anger in the Panda King's eyes as he recounted how he lost a member of his own family. A daughter who was abducted by a powerful general from the Northern Mountains. She was to be the bride in a forced marriage to this unscrupulous ruler, and Panda King was exiled. We agreed to help him recover his lost daughter in exchange for his skills in the Cooper Vault job. I still wasn't convinced this was a good idea, but a deal's a deal. A deal indeed is a deal. And now the Panda King is... Well, he's back. Sly Cooper and the gang in... A cold alliance. But guess what follows up after this? A PowerPoint presentation! So Bentley, take it away! We all know that our objective here is to retrieve the Panda King's daughter, Jean King. She's being kept against her will by this man, General Sal. A real key to this guy. During surveillance, I actually witnessed him kick a puppy! Twice! <gasps> he plans on forcing Jing King to marry him next Saturday! Clearly that bastard! Of the essence. Here's the plan. First, I'll approach Sao in disguise and attempt to get hired as his wedding planner. Hopefully with a man on the inside, we'll get some news on Jing King. Still, we need more information! Two of us will need to work together to steal a pair of twin keys and break into Sal's house of business. Once inside, I'll need to utilize some new technology to circumvent their old type security. Finally, thanks to Penelope's air sweeps, we've picked up an unusual radio signature out in the water. Someone will need to go eyeball the anomaly and figure out what it is. We can't leave anything up to chance here, or Jing King lives unhappily ever after. True, true. Well, we have three more missions that we're going to take care of next time. So, if you enjoyed this video, be sure to home and attack that like button. If you want to see more, then down A that subscribe button. Like I said, next time we will take on the next three missions. Hopefully become General Sal's wedding planner. Things like that. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll catch you guys next time.